day. Good day, sir. Wow, I'm really looking at you. <laughs> That's crazy. At. That is crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Fuck, wait, I forgot how to start this. I'm so tired, dude. Well, I've been like... To the Unholy yeah. Trinity podcast. Wow. So close to my mouth, bro. That's a good thing. <laughs> is it? Yeah. Okay, I'm scared. It's gonna like smack me. All right, I'm gonna as smack long as you. You don't smack your face. All right. Um. Yeah. Welcome. Welcome back, guys. My, what's a week it has been, right? Quite an eventful week, I'd say. Yeah. Mate, I thought I would get a good night's rest last night, and I got what woken happened? up at like seven a.m. by a loud drilling outside my window. It was it the guy camping outside your door? Nah, that happened later in the no, day. Right. But that was funny because I was like. Damn, what should I do in this situation? So I texted my roommates to see if they're home so they could like open the door for me. Um, and so I kind of like ducked into the alleyway and then I emerged from the alleyway and he's like, damn, were you buying drugs? And I was like, no. He's like, cool, man. You're saying someone's selling drugs around here? Well, like... There's an alleyway next to my, like, oh, literally next to my house. the guy is saying there's someone selling drugs. They're probably, they're always, like, they're every already. time you walk past, they're like, someone's, like, smoking weed or something. So pro- right, people probably are. So, yeah. But, um, no. I was just coming home from a day of work. I think he's looking for the guy selling drugs. No, nah, no. Nah, he was, like, camped outside, bro. He was, oh, like, he's set the up. one selling drugs. Well, he, he had his wine. He had his yeah, right, yeah, yeah. bicycle. But, yeah, that was. Does that relate to the drilling? Nah, it was two unrelated things. I don't know what the drilling was about, but I was like, bruh, like, why would you fucking start drilling it? Like, people are still asleep at seven in the morning. Yeah. So only the people who, like, need to get up and travel to get somewhere to go to work. But, yeah, like, yeah. Well, maybe that's their work. And yeah, they're early. I guess so. But, like, damn, bro. Like, it's so fucking annoying. And I was like, damn, I could have gone to sleep. But... Because, mm-hmm. yeah, it's been, it's been a crazy week, man. Um, should we should we talk should we talk about some interesting stuff that happened with us? Yeah, and sure. about how, yeah. So, um, as we kind of hinted at in the last week's episode, um, the first ever fast food strike in Australia. Oh, wow, it happened. It happened. It happened. It happened. And your boy here was involved. Yes, right. I was also there yeah. as a witness. Indeed, taking it, take it some beautiful pictures, yeah, showing support. Um, Display pictures here, editor yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a couple of my friends were like, oh, your podcast supports this. And I was like, yeah. Yes, we do pretty support. Pretty cool, pretty cool. We do. Um, I, was a, I was a real uh, journalist correspondent that day to the Unholy Trinity podcast. Yeah. I must say. Uh, you came over and you said some things. You probably could have uh, quoted me on some stuff, but oh, um, yeah, I had nothing yeah. to say. It was just like, yeah. I think you said, uh, yeah, mate. Yeah, mate. Yeah, mate. Whatever we talked about. I said, yeah. oh, I know what you said. You said, they get what they deserve. <laughs> so was, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can quote me on that. Um, yeah, so it was a pretty good turnout, you know, quite a few people there. Um, apparently, like, over 120 or something. Yeah, it was a pretty good turnout. Which is cool. For a corner street. Yeah, the um, trade showed up for a bit as well. Yeah, in. so I saw some guys with TMFUs. Yeah, shirts on, pretty or sick. Yeah. Um, yeah, local um, restaurants next door and stuff were like, yeah, well done. Yeah, yeah they, they, they're with it. Um, we, yeah, we did a press conference to Channel 7, yeah. Channel 9. The latter of which uh, did nothing with that interview, even though channel I thought nine. that was like the better oh, one. They, were, but, yeah. they didn't show it on Channel Nine. Damn. Nah, yeah, no. Nah. Very sad. They had but, something. Um, what else happened that day? They probably yeah, did yeah, that instead. Um, stray kids that happened yeah, that day, which we'll talk about later. Well. Um, stray kids do this. Yeah, um, yeah. Channel Seven was. Um, they did a little segment about it. Um, have you? How, did you watch the segment they did? The the, the post you said anyway. Yeah, yeah. So it's like they um, showed like yeah the our rally and stuff, and then they got a statement from one of the like area managers or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a bit of a I fuck know with SPS a. Covered it. But uh, yeah, SBS wrote a full full article about yeah. it. Yeah, 
my face is in that article quite yeah, a bit. Yeah. Look at that. You yeah so there's that picture of me next to the union like leader guy oh yeah, oh, the united yeah. workers Union, by the way he organized this mm -hmm. with us yeah um yeah it was funny um girl tried to downplay it and be like it's only like 12 12 people 12 um employees that were unhappy with this and then i think sbs was like there were 20 but in reality, stubble. I think it was 13 or something, so yeah. I technically we both wrong, but yeah. 20 um, stuff. Yeah, it was pretty 13 good. 13 is more than 10, yeah. or 12, or whatever. Yeah. And it's... Yeah, I can't, I can't say too much out of fear of um defamation, but... uh. For one thing, yeah. we can say there were more than 13 people against this... Um, <laughs> yeah. New agreement. That's the that day, that's, yeah. there were more than 13 people in attendance. Yeah, and um, yeah, it's uh, such a beautiful moment. Quite, quite lovely. So proud of my coworkers, you know. Proud of y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Standing yeah. up for your rights. Yeah. As a real patriot. Yeah, using our um. Democratic rights. Yeah, <laughs> democratic rights, of which we don't have that much. No. But um. No freedom know, of speech. No freedom of speech. That's not in the constitution, from mm -hmm. what I remember. Yeah. But um, yeah, it was pretty cool. Yeah, we'll we'll see. See how it goes. How it goes. But you have said yeah. the agreement went through so far. Well, we, I have to, we should probably not talk about that. Not I don't know if that's info. public information, right. so maybe you're gonna have to cut Cross around that, that part. Yeah. Um. But maybe this pod will be published after it's public. I don't know. It'll take a while. Oh, I I know yeah. when it'll like I I know. But, I'm saying yeah, maybe. As in, the information I just said is a possibility, not absolute. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Um. Anyway. Uh. Yeah. So pretty good, right? That's a yeah. Yeah. Pretty good. Good to know. Yeah. And hopefully, more of these to come. More members of the grilled society will join unions. Yeah. And you know. It's kind of crazy that oh we'll we'll pop it off on Reddit as well. We're like the Reddit trending on um r slash Australia. Uh yeah. Which is pretty good. The Redditors are giving Yarl. The Redditors are stars. actually based. They're like more on the outside than like the Channel 7 audience, which is not a surprise because the Channel 7 audience kind of skews right no, wing a bit. Be, it's it's going to be the, but, um, the blokes be like, just get a job, man. Get a different job. Yeah, man. that's, yeah. Which is also me. <laughs> but I support the workers. As in, like, I understand you can get another job, but you still have the right. Yeah. Well, really the thing nice about you, you got to understand conditions in your current job. Yeah, has. you also got to understand that it's what you're looking at and what we were fighting for. We're fighting for trainees, right? Yeah. And so you trainees other, are going to be kids in high yeah. school, kids in uni, mm -hmm. people who can't get a full job for obvious reasons. There. Yeah, yeah. You know, shit. Um, it's also like the job market's not that good right now. That's true. And um, girls. I am in that hole of shit yeah. job market as well. So. And that's who grilled targets, you know? It's the young people. It's not... That's what that, that's what the, these fucking old people commenting just do not understand. It's like... Yeah, just buy a house, yeah. mate. Yeah. I, I bought a house yeah. when I was 22. Yeah, and that's, a, that's, that's something where also... Like, inflation is a big part of our thing, right? Because it's like... Uni was you're not, free They're not adjusting the numbers to, for that. I got an apprenticeship, apprenticeship at... Uh, what was a big thing? Holden. They don't exist anymore. Yeah. And, um, well, also the thing is, like, if you want to look at it from a perspective of, like, you as the Australian people, like, what do, what, what, what do you, like, what, how does this affect you guys if you guys don't really care about the workers? Think about this. And I'm just going to say allegedly, just in case. Yeah. But allegedly, the Labour um, Party, not Labour Party, the Liberal Party back in um, 20. 20 or whatever it was yeah, they were in power or something yeah so they yeah, made a deal with Grilled where um, their funding for the um, traineeship comes out of the taxpayers pockets oh, subsidised yeah. traineeship man. which I don't know if people know about this but like it's pretty well known I think I read about that somewhere yeah called Berger University mate bro that's kind of crazy. but um man. yeah so like what I don't know do, don't you think that your money's going to waste like <laughs> Yeah, why yeah. should you pay for grill trainees yeah. when Mr. What's-his-name, uh, 
the cousin of Simon Cowell yeah. can't pay his own employee. Which so. definitely can because he bought a $23 yeah. million dollar mansion um, in Turek. <laughs> in Turek. So, you know, yeah, allegedly, so the train ship only cost them like $3 an hour or something because of this mm. government. And I assume since it's thing. a contract deal they yeah. signed, the current government can't immediately scrap that. No. Nah. Yeah. And yeah, so with the new EA agreement, obviously, like, there's going to be a bit of a pay rise. But also you have to bear in mind that there has to be a pay rise because the minimum wage got raised by labor. That's right. So, like, what, you think girls just go out of the kindness of their heart? No. Nah. So it's like it is still meeting, like, the minimum. That's, that's mm -hmm. what um, Even so, you might understand, yeah. You know, the increase of uh, wage may not be uh, equal to the rate of inflation as it's well. It's not, right? it's not, yeah. That got calculated by mm -hmm. how good old, delicate, yeah. Yeah, so, you know, everyone's doing it tough, <sighs> not just you uh, house owners in Turek. Yeah, mate. And, yeah, I don't know. And why would you, like, why would you even just be against, you know, people getting what they do? <laughs> because they've never you been know? in a yeah. low-level job or they've always been the guy who's like, yeah, don't need your help. I can do shit myself. Yeah, you I'm probably right. come into our restaurant and order your fucking burger and you want to expect it just magically appears for you. Yeah. Or, you you know, it's like, that, I, uh, know. I picture it as, a, as the, uh, like, the American Karenisms of, like, I'll pay you to do this, so you do the thing, hey? Yeah, it's but. Fine. You know, without yeah. thinking about the conditions behind that. Yeah. yeah. And you got to. Think about how, you know, you're getting your burger chips to drink. That's like twice the wage a trainee yeah. will make. 20 you know? bucks yeah. for a burger meal? 20 bucks? Hell no, nah, it's oh, way more than 20. Like, let's say, let's say a burger is like ever. $16, right? right yeah. Let's say your chips is $7. Uh, then right, let's say you got to add a $5 drink to that. No. Yeah, now, I've, I've, see, I've only looking... keeping up with like Macca's pricing. So. Macca's is pretty expensive, man. I mean, it's getting more expensive. Yeah, inflation, I like, de yeah, de it's definitely. Fine, I, like, I remember back in the day. Mecca's is back still in the my value day. meal of today's society. I suppose if you get, like, deals or something. But, like, the burgers themselves are, like, if you, mm. like, a, like one burger by themselves for, what, $9 mm. or something. Yeah. Which is like still, a, like, quite a, a bit Mac. for, yeah. But nowhere near, like, the prices of grill. Yeah, and, but I, th I think yeah. you guys get paid around the same as Macca's workers, so think about that. Yeah. Crazy stuff. Support your unions. Join a union. Actually, I think we got paid a little bit less than Macca's workers. Oh, damn. Actually. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah right. support your unions. Join a union if, you, if your workplace has one. Uh, you know. Yeah. To quote truckers, Australia stops when the trucks stop. Man, I was a trucker for a year you in American Truck Simulator. Oh, yeah. yeah, back during COVID. Where, where were you delivering? What was your route? I can't remember. I was driving across like America or something. Arkansas to... It was like my... I don't remember. It was like my favorite thing to do because they have a real radio. Oh, like so a real one that radio. everyone's... It's live and the yeah, community's so like involved. Like and it's like, yeah. AM trucker radio. Yeah, but it's like made by the community, which is so cool. Oh, so it's actually in-game. Yeah, yeah, it's in-game, but it's like, it's, it's real, like, it's, yeah, Someone a live thing. Announced. Someone made it, yeah. yeah. What do they play Pretty on sick. the radio? Um, they played a lot of, like, pop hits, you know, like, typical radio stuff, but it was just, like, I, I appreciate it more mm. because I'm, like, on the road, bro, you yeah. know, I, I understand, I get it. Yeah. True. Good days, man, good days, yeah. But yeah, that 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 was the big thing of the week. Um, yeah, still boycott grilled guys. I know it, 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 not real. just the one day, just full stuff. Mm -hmm. Don't get a grilled. You know that's why they want to scrap the CMFDU because also in the political side of things, you know who's pro big business, the Liberal Party. Yeah, and their friends at big 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 business, big business be like. Can you get rid of the unions? Yeah. Which may include our friend Simon Cowell. 
you know. Oh, hundred hundred percent. Hundred percent, he's a liberal. Right? He, he lives That's in okay. Turak. That's where. Uh, yeah. That's. LMP land, but I think it's a teal land now. But you know, rich people live there. Yeah. They don't like your unions. You yeah. know what else they don't like? You. So <laughs> why not join your union? Yeah, yeah. Um actually the United Workers Union, I don't I don't know how much of a hand they had in this, but like um they were posting about like a mm. good job on uh, I think Canberra had their election or something. Yeah, they just had their election. And uh Labour one I think think for that yeah, area pretty sure from yeah, what i've read yeah. i yeah. still need to vote i haven't done that i'm gonna do it when i get home vote for what the our local council local council yeah. yeah who's running at your north melbourne i don't know usually it's, it's... is it that nick guy that i keep seeing all around the fucking like, place is he, he's running for like melbourne city yeah i guess that's not me yeah, anymore no. i always think about that and i'm like you don't live in the center of the world anymore Melbourne, that's a good, good CBD. Yeah. yeah, I think uh, the major parties do run council, local council. Oh, have you heard, heard about the? There's a thing a while back where the liberals forgot to register like half of their local council. Uh, really, uh, fellas, what do you call them? <laughs> Did they just Candidates. have no one there? Yeah, so they they had no one there. I think it was oh, it was the New South Wales Liberals. I think so, like the Federals. The federal liberals are like taking over because like they suck. So like yeah. they take it over. But that's a funny thing. So on half of their electorates, no liberal candidates. So yeah. that's a good thing. In my books. Damn, I miss Sonny. Yeah, mm. if if Sonny was here, he would interject. He would talk about politics funny. or he'll, something. No, he'll he'll be like Yeah. Council more like council my nuts. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. But yeah, you could vote for your major parties or choose what you want. If you know a local guy who's running, you could yeah, run. I can run. Knock on every door on your street. Be like, I'm running. Subscribe to the other way, should be. Yeah. Yeah. The local council is also important. Oh, guy, that, that dude, um, Purple Ping, is, he, he couldn't come to the right? rally, but he met up with everyone oh, after nice. their thing. Yeah. So he was in and the housing one. Yeah. yeah. He's running for Senate. Really? Yeah. Vote for him if you like him, I guess. The cool guy. Because his name is Purple Finger. Yeah. But would you vote for socialists? That's the question. Well, that's funny. some of the comments he got on the um, 70s one. Yeah. Someone just commented socialism. Which, what does that mean? Well, to be fair, you did have Are a you pro social... or against? Oh, like, what, like, what does he say? He's just saying socialism. Play. Like, which oh, is okay. true, you mean, you mean. Yeah, there's like a lot of so the socialist, socialist values were there, yeah. going on. Yeah. But there was a socialist uh, party uh, candidate member at the rally. Yeah, yeah there like, were. I think up. there were a few members of mm -hmm. the party. It's part of democracy, guys. Yeah, yeah mate. I don't think there are any liberals there. No, where's, our see, uh, where's our Pauline Hanson One Nation representative? Exactly. So true. Yeah, local council determines your fucking zoning laws and shit. So, like, it also matters. So, if, like, big wig liberals who are in cahoots with your, like, big wig developers came into office and be like, hey, you can build your 50 story building here, no tax. On my house. On my ha on Jack's <laughs> house. On Jack's house. For free. Yeah. They can just do that and kick you out and build a 50 story yeah. McMansion. Or yeah. apartment block made yeah. with sheet. That's <laughs> made like, with a sheet. Like this house. Like a pillow fort. <laughs> which is like, the, which with empty walls, that's what I'm saying. Ah. Uh, yeah. yeah. That can burn down any second. That's all good, mate. That's, mm -hmm. that's all good. So think about it. Vote for your local guy. Or non-liberal candidate. Whoa, we're not telling you what to do. No, I'm just you saying don't have what to I would do, do, you know. Because I can't vote. <laughs> but that's the, <laughs> yeah, the political can't. coverage of the day. That is, that is. Sorry for the, I don't know, if you're actively against, you know, there's people who are just like, oh, Yo, I don't want to hear anything political. Or it my hurts my tummy. It hurts my tummy. <laughs> it hurts my, tummy. <laughs> it hurts this, uh, my brain. The two wolves about. inside of my tummy are <laughs> Labour and Liberal and they're fighting. <laughs> they're fighting right now.
gives me constipation. You know, really? you know it, it could be a trigger for some people. You know, they, there may have been a traumatic traumatic event that happened to them surrounding political discourse. Like, um, I went to the polling booth and my parents abandoned me or something. Yeah, it could be. Yeah. I mean, should you do like a trigger warning every time you want to talk about something political? No. No. I don't, I don't believe in that yeah, personally. Fuck. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. What are we going to have? Like hardcore right wing yeah. people listen to the podcast? <laughs> Possibly, honestly. I don't yeah, know. I, mean, I don't know what they're I talk doing. about yeah. hardcore right wing stuff such as uh, uh, zoning laws. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> you're pro tearing down the house, the tearing, tearing down, down my house. house. To build yeah. an apartment. Well, I'm also kind of pro tearing down my house. So you can get an in. apartment. Yeah. I want the McMansion. Mm-hmm. What else happened? Oh. Stray Kids. Stray Kids did happen. Yeah. What did you see, old man? Well, I saw Stray Kids, you know, <laughs> immediately, like, after the rally. But, like, the entire time, I was just like, shit, I, I feel like I shouldn't even be here. I gotta go support my people. I saw them afterwards, but um, yeah. They said you threw money at the Korean capital. Because I already system. spent so much money on the ticket already. Yeah. And it was pretty good. I don't think it was as good as last show, not just because I was closer in the last show and I got a mm -hmm. direct interaction from Felix. Mm -mm. But the set list, I feel, was a bit weaker this time around. Right. Well, but, so it's a one-day show, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, Crazy. yeah. But Marvel Stadium, which meant mm -hmm. they could do bigger stuff, like lots of pyrotechnics and fireworks and shit yeah. like that, constantly. It also makes sense, because it's Flames. the biggest stadium, everyone just goes to the one day, and it fits. Yeah, yeah. Because I think last time they did road labor, is that right? Yeah, for like a couple of days or yeah. something. Yeah. Twice did like two days road labor, one day Marvel. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Damn. Increasing the man. My friend yeah. at work saw them of going off the stage because they were like taking a toilet break so they took a detour so they were like right next to them when they walked off oh my god it's funny so lucky then he recorded it and put it on his story that's crazy I imagine yeah that'd be so cool i love stray kids they're awesome i love toilet breaks yeah so real same same sort yeah. of thing um the cool stuff that uh stray kids did this one um Felix and Mang Chan were doing Eshe voices. Yeah, which I thought was quite funny. Um, for some reason, everything Felix did was always, Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I was like, going, Oh my gosh. But Felix uh, never once came to my side of the stage. Every other member did, just not Felix. Yeah, he knows he you hates there. me. Yeah. Like, no, I already gave you your he shot used last, thing last time. Yeah. No um, yeah. They're going on the project, yeah. are they? Yeah, on Tuesday. They're in Australia for like over a week, I think. Actually, and despite oh, their families day. were at the show. Actually, oh. well, that's probably where they stay. Yeah, well, Having a bit of time with yeah. the fam. They're, they're probably there. yeah. They want to probably go back to Sydney and stay mm -hmm. there for a bit because that's where they're from. Type shit. Yeah. What are you gonna talk about in the project? I don't know. Wally Dali is from the project. I remember yeah. they did like a segment on like Channel 7 or something a few years ago, which was like talking about how hard the industry is. They'd be like, how's K-pop? But they're like, it's rewarding. Yeah, yeah, but have you heard about the, uh, you guys have to go on diets? That's about the extent of like, I feel like the project's not going to, yeah, what are the projects going to talk to the other? But it's just like, what do you guys think about uh, JYP? Or would it be like, have you given Vegemite to your bad mates yeah. or something? That's, a, that's what I feel like what they say. Typical daytime television. That's nighttime television. Oh yeah, they go yeah. nighttime. <laughs> daytime television is even worse. It's just like... Chemist Warehouse. Yeah, it's just ads. <laughs> it is ads. Yeah, it just switches to the ad channel automatically. Um, yeah. I'm wearing Straker's pants, actually. Oh, nice. Yeah. And you got Taylor Swift. Yeah, I'm actually all merged up. And Guts Beanie. Yeah. Check that out. But I was just wanting something casual to wear because I'm at the gym mm -hmm. afterwards. Hell yeah. You're yeah. repping the three, the three blocks. Indeed, mate. Um, but yeah, it was a dope show. The, it was a big spectacle. Which is like mm. something I think nice. was better 
this time around. Um, yeah. I feel like, yeah, the, to me, I was like, the set list could have been better. Because I feel like last year had more bangers. But also, like, low-key for me, like, I, I haven't been vibing too much with recent Stray Kids album releases. Mm. They've been kind of okay. Or mid, as the kids say. Yeah. But, yeah, maybe I'll, maybe I'll get more hate for that than any of the politics we talk about. She, that's real. I feel like, like yeah, we probably yeah. have more of a K-pop audience than anyone that's interested yeah, in K-pop Australian is politics. Much more polarizing than yeah, your politics than your old men in suits. But um, yeah, but yeah, point being, good show, good show, good, good show. show. Yeah, yeah. Travis Scott is coming soon. Oh my god, did you see um the Sydney show? They brought yeah. out the weekend. Oh damn! Oh, cause they they must. Play. Yeah, cause they. They're doing the reverse. They're touching tips, bro. Yeah. Reverse CDs, hey. Um, they also brought out um, I think Shaq West. Yeah, Shaq West. That guy. Which is pretty cool. Like oh, now, I kind of want to go to Travis Scott to see who he brings out there. But like, they won't be at Melbourne. The other guys. Will they? I yeah. reckon. Yeah, he's gonna bring out a uh, Playboy Cardi. Maybe. Like, who the fuck knows? Who is this guy? Is like. Cause he's gonna do yeah. Fiend six times. Yeah. Like Kendrick, not like, like us. Ken- exactly. Times. It could be. Like, I have the day off tomorrow. Wait, is it mm. on tomorrow? Is it Tuesday, um, Wednesday, or Wednesday, Thursday? Maybe Wednesday. Because I know the loadout's Wednesday. I think I can go on Wednesday. Do they still have those, like, $80 tickets left? Maybe. You could yeah. join the mosh pit yeah. in the middle and die of you dehydration. I could. Yeah. I need to go to work after. Wait, are you, going, are you doing the loadout after? Yeah. Wait, isn't it two days? Is it two days? Yeah, it's 22nd, 23rd, I think. Well, the loadout's on Wednesday. tomorrow, yeah. Is it a Tuesday night? Yeah, so it makes sense. It'll be Tuesday night, Wednesday night as well. Okay. I mean... I'm going to go on Tuesday. Nah. (laughs) They might bring out your favorite artist, like, I don't know. Cardi. Who do you like? Hatsune Miku. Oh, shit. That would be kind of crazy, though. That would go pretty hard. Yeah. We already started the loading yesterday night. Yeah. I was supposed to do eight hours, but they cut me off at six, which is sad. Damn. And they didn't give me uh, catering because it's six hours. Oh, so that's sad. crazy. Wait, holy shit. You don't get catering. Well, we get catering if we go past six hours and they cut me off right at six hours. Damn. Because they don't. In uh, our industry, it's five hours. Yeah. But I feel like you're doing a lot of manual labor, right? Yeah. That's kind of a dog move. It should actually be... I feel like yeah, it should so that's be... That's kind of the move, though. Like, they'll be like, all right, you guys... Do you get a break? We can take toilet breaks, yeah. I mean, do you get, like... Well, the, the toilet break is catering. Right? And then the, you do... The yeah, you go... Wow. But, like, the, the move is always, like, six hours, get out. Yeah. No catering. Yeah. Type beat. Even though it was an eight-hour call. Yeah. But, you know, such is life. But you get paid pretty but well, it was, right? It was a Sunday. Yeah. So, it's oh. good. Good yeah. Love the Sundays. Unlike you guys, you get no Sundays. Well, I was actually pretty much every Sunday. I always work at uh, Archie oh, Brothers. Yeah. That's I mean, the way I should. I know, yeah, mm-hmm. I work at the better job because yeah, we got Sunday rates. Yeah. That's real. But yeah, oh fuck, bro. Well, I guess if we're we're getting into like money and pay rates and shit, um, because I'm no longer a uni student, I don't get oh, youth allowance yeah. anymore. Yeah. I mean, like, crazy. yeah, so I'm not on Sinai. So have you uh, finished the uni, basically? Yeah. Well, like, I've got two weeks, but it's like... You've done all the class. It's like an intensive two weeks, like, three days a week each for, yeah. like, two lessons each day. And then I'm done. No more failing class. No. And I have an assignment. Talked away from the mic. I have an assi- yes. one more assignment to do. Well, I'll do it tomorrow. Very cool. Yeah. Congratulations. Will we have a, <laughs> a post, well, not a post, a, a, graduation, a graduation dinner, as we do. That's our, uh, that's our, uh, what do you call it, tradition? Yeah, I guess. Should I go to the graduation <clears throat> ceremony? When's that happening for it's you? It's like $200 or some shit to you go. Get to see, uh, usually they do like a guest, uh, they do like a whole big thing ceremony, right? And they yeah. have like someone perform. Maybe if someone, it's, it's someone could, yeah. Holy shit! Like yeah, Travis yeah. Scott. 
could be. I mean, uh, when my dad went to the graduation, it was a Jessica Malboy. Okay. Yeah. So. Can you they tell me who's headlining yeah. the RMIT graduation first, and then I'll consider it? Because you gotta, like, you look into that. It's like, I don't want to fucking pay f- with. I don't want to pre-order. Yeah, exactly. I don't know. Like, uh, yeah, I also don't know like, like what my situation for graduating is yet because mm. I haven't actually graduated. But they're already asking for like money, and I'm you, like, you, I don't. Graduate. I genuinely don't know if I'm gonna graduate or not. Have you asked if the I guy? Or whatever you. Well, my guy can't really help because he's just a. Yeah, but coordinator well, of the course. You know for sure that you'll pass and like graduate. No, I don't. I don't know if I'm gonna pass. You don't know no, that. Because you gotta ask your each of your lecturers. Be like, am I gonna pass your class? Well, we'll see how I go with Japanese. Yeah. That's the hardest one because pretty much anything in the English language I can bullshit okay, because yeah, yeah. English is I'm not bullshit. like I mean I'm not a great writer, but like I can I can English write enough out. to seem like I know what I'm doing. But Japanese, nah. No. He does not know what he's doing. Oh my god, that final written exam is gonna kill. Me. I've been skating by like forty percent, uh-huh. so I don't think I'm gonna pass. But no, no, no. This is well, too much information for the audience. Dude. I feel like that's just to say, yeah. Oh, good luck to you on that. Help <laughs> so, graduate to so. see uh, who's an Aussie artist that could perform. Kid Leroy. Kid Leroy will be at if the Kid, Oh my god, if Kid Leroy did the RMIT, I would Maybe kill myself. I would go. I would 100% uh, go for that. Right like here. alumni. Did he go to uni? I think he just went to the States. So. When he was not. pretty young. Yeah. Because Kid Leroy is like my age or Bro, a tiny bit right. older. I don't you think know, he, he did. He was smart. Yeah. He didn't use up his uh, hex. He's from my hood though, Redford. Yeah, he, he, just, he just went to Cali and. Zan. He um his mentor was Juice World, I'm pretty sure, right? Rest in peace. Yeah. So dude, he's also a Zan fan. Juice World? Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Shout out to the Zanis. I don't I don't know what we're doing. I <laughs> but yeah, support yeah. prescription drugs. That's what I'm saying. All right, what's real? Um yeah. Do we have anything else to talk about? Uh, I'm not getting deported. Oh, know. that's good. That's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Funny thing, I I applied for my, uh, I guess visa like two weeks ago, and I thought it was gonna take a month for them to like go through that and process that because all my other buddies were like, or the buddies that did it previously to me, it took them like one to two months on average. But hey, they just did in two weeks because I guess they yeah. they hate me. They want me to get out of here as soon as possible. But they didn't deport me, so cheese to that immigration minister, I forget who you are. Have you ever considered applying for PR? Or is I that can something you're... after that after this, yeah. after the two years, but like in my current state, I do not have the requirements to meet permanent residency, but I potentially can Into if I you. get my shit together. Okay, yeah. yeah. So I'll probably need to get a full time job in a relevant industry relating to my uh what do you call it studies. credentials studies yeah. and uh earn enough money to meet the requirements or move to another industry that is in the essential industries like list. the agriculture yes. yeah, yeah or yeah. like you know uh healthcare or whatnot okay and like taking care of old people yeah you like old people Sure. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. yeah. Or, We're the unholy trinity. Yeah. We do like old people. Or I moved to the regional Australian towns. You should do that. Okay. I will. I will move with you. See, one of my plans is if I, if I can get a good gig at Geelong, because that counts as regional. Yeah. I just moved to Geelong. Surely go to the lovely little town of Togemol on that the way, Murray River. That where your your big fam is. That's where I, yeah my family's mm. from. Pretty sick. We can uh, take care of cattle. Is that right? Yeah, or, or just do anything. Like, it's not like the... We'll make a giant I mean, they're rural, but facility like, in, in... Yeah. What's the time? You know, if you become a um, citizen, you can get um, the youth startup load from a settlement oh. or something. They'll pay you to do your, like, small business. Maybe, yeah, then we can make a... You can do podcast. it. Maybe that's what I should be applying for. Yeah. 
if you have a business plan, they'll probably ask you for a business plan. Be like, what are you yeah. making? If you can help me with that, I can do that. Yeah. Sure. What yeah. do you want to make? A podcast. <laughs> right. Can we just show them a bunch of footage from this? Like, we'll make a sizzle reel of all of our worst moments. They'd be like, yeah, this yeah. is successful. This is business, mate. This is essential to Australians' consumption of podcasts. Yeah. I mean, like any loan, I'm, I'm guessing they'll be like, what's the potential here? Will, will, will you make a return on the, this investment? Mate, I'll just right? show them a picture of um, Kyle and Jackie O like, and put our faces us. on it. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's a good thing to think about, you know. Yeah. Think about your business. Yeah, yeah. Well, hopefully, once I get this script finished, this, like, short film mm-hmm. that I've been writing based on our idea, maybe we can yeah. shoot it because it's yeah, man. something I'm trying to make to be as simple as possible to shoot. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Can, uh into film stuff but that's 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 another story for another day true yeah uh, overall good news this week. yeah <laughs> some you know maybe not so positive things well dio but, will probably re-sign his contract with us yes yeah soon enough yeah speaking of good news we have some stuff to movies. We watch sure, yeah. somewhat good. Yeah. A classic and a new one. Yeah. You wanna start with a new one? Okay. Hot off the press. Mm-hmm. Um Hello audience of the podcast. Today we'll be talking about the film Smile Two. Smile Dos. Um, it's the sequel to Smile Uno. That's right. Yep. This is the follow I do of uh The what? The full A, dude. This is the second, oh, like yeah. the second Joker. Oh. Yeah, the the Joker two of the Smile universe. Yeah. So this is probably better than Joker two. Though. Yeah. Joker two is so. pretty pretty bad. Um, yeah. So yeah, second Smile movie. Uh, do we we talked about? I think we talked about the first Smile movie on um yeah, on the show. yeah. And I think we said it was pretty good or like decent I at least. It to be. Decent. Yeah. Like a six or seven, probably around yeah. that sort of range. I gotta say, I remember liking it more than this one. Yeah. I th- I thought... Okay, well, well, before we get into like the mm-hmm. our nitty-gritty opinions, I guess, in summary, I actually don't remember who the, any one of the actors are in this one. Yeah. But, but um, who directed the same guy? And I could have... Look at... Maybe, <laughs> Take a I'm gonna do Take my due diligence a real, Back real checks. quick. But the the plot basically follows like a um, singer mm-hmm. as uh, as a protagonist, as a protagonist, oh, and pop, um, the smile curse. And then she's like, "Hey, what do I do?" And I guess in the same way that the previous one kind of has like deeper themes, I guess, in relation to like what the curse is like symbolizing, whatever. Mm-hmm. This one probably has stuff to do with like uh, addiction, substance, substance abuse. abuse, which is why this movie Lord. is so close to the actual to the movie The Substance because they're like about oh, like yeah. the same thing. But um, uh, sorry, this one's directed by Parker Finn, which actually I think did the first one well. I'm just back check. Yes, they hmm. they wrote. And directed the first one. Um, it is. It stars. Oh yeah, Naomi Scott's the main character. Yeah. Yeah. And then you got other people. Uh, Rosemary Dewitt. Do 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 it. Sorry. Um, Lucas Cage, Miles Gutierrez Riley, kind of like them. Main cast. Main cast. <clears throat> Yeah, so, yeah, that's the premise. It's like, yeah, how does she deal with this, the curse? Well, that, that's the only thing you can really say that's spoiling, right? Yeah. And um, so you were saying you enjoyed the first one more? But, From what I remember. Yeah, um, yeah I'm I, starting to yeah. think of things of why that may be. Yeah. To me, I feel pretty much similarly to the first movie 
in the sense that like it's pretty decent. Like I I think in terms of like I don't know. I thought the first movie would be like horror, like Blumhouse horror, just like something more. Because I thought the premise sounded awful would to do with smiles, and I was thought, thought of like Truth or Dare. If you remember that movie, came out a while uh, ago. No, but yeah. So I guess this one, I thought was kind of the same. Where it's like it's actually, it's like better than I would have expected from the genre, a genre that I love. By the way, I love mm-hmm. horror. But I guess, like, I expected this to be, like, that kind of average... Cliché. Clichéd horror. And I think this is a bit better than that. But I think it has the exact same problem with the first movie. Is the third act kind of sucks ass. Mm. What happened at the first one again? It's, like, the exact same thing. It's, like, big oh. demon monster thing. Was it the yeah. same monster? I think so. Uh, Without spoiling anything, we don't want to spoil yeah, yeah. anything. But I think it kind of ends, like, exactly the same. I don't know, remember the first endings as... I think this ending's, like, pretty depressing, I guess, without getting yeah. into anything. It's not a very hopeful ending. I can't remember the first one was as well. But um, we'll get to that later, I guess. Mm-hmm. Right? Um, in terms of things that I think this movie did better, um, I think the protagonist is better. Mm-hmm. Um. But because yeah, she's dealing with, I guess, a more unique situation. Because I think the first one's a bit more just like kind of horror protagonist. Yeah. This one's at least like they, they've they've said it in a particular setting, you know, of like yeah. this. I think that's the thing. Music that I, industry I don't thing. Like though, because like I feel like that's cliche. Like the the the, the it background you have yeah. of like uh, big musician pop star substance abuse yada 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 yeah but um i think it's kind of elevated by the uh, the actual performance of the actress like she's really good yeah Yeah. and um they do i don't want to get into too much but they do do pretty cool things with the psychological elements of like her kind of disassociating but from reality shit like that what i said about uh, fight club yeah which we'll talk about later i get that now we're going to tell me the specific moment later because yeah. I can't remember exactly the thing, but we'll talk about my club later. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, sorry. The things that, yeah, I think the I like the protagonist in this one more, but also I don't really remember the first one that much. Same. But this one, I think, seemed more interesting. Um, I and she's also more morally gray because I feel like yeah. she's not that likable like mm. as in you can understand her but then she'll be like kind of a dick sometimes and like that's why uh, maybe the people around her are kind of like uh, yeah, yeah. but also like that kind of connects to certain people in the music industry as well right yeah so i guess you know that's kind of interesting if you look at it like mm-hmm. that i guess you um yeah supposed to fully empathize yeah okay, so which i thought was empathy. um that kind of makes it more interesting to me mm-hmm. it's like yeah so um yeah. yeah so another thing i thought would did better was the cinematography and stuff you yeah, can tell yeah. like i think they must have had a increased budget because like the the movie straight up starts off with like a like pretty spins. long one shot one take yeah. and it was pretty incredible and i was like oh is this what the movie's gonna be like and um it wasn't, but like that was yeah, a cool like start. That, that was I actually thought the the that could have been a thing. That, I thought that was going to be like yeah. yeah, that was incredible. What a great opener. Um, no, totally different thing. Nah. but they do consistently have like pretty good cinematography. There's like um, they do a lot of stuff with like mirrors, um, good angles and shit, um, nice transitions. Yeah, it's just like good. Uh, they use uh screens well as well, oh, yeah. where they'll um just show you like they actually do really cool things with like horror on this people looking at things on the screen. Like they'll be like, we're gonna zoom into this picture and stuff, and mm-hmm. like it's like kind of cool. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it looks yeah. good. And Only I think yeah, the movie. Do you think the movie's scary? There's a few jump scares where I went, oh. 
Yeah, but that's the thing, isn't it? I, I don't know. I'm not a huge jump yeah, scare guy, like, so it's, it's like scary. It's not scary. Which is, it's I think, a problem we probably had with the first movie as well. They did have a few. Jump they scares, did have a few jump scares in there. That was just like okay. Yeah, it was more surprising than yeah. scary. But I mean, I guess they got they got the gore down. The one thing that I found like creepy and was cool was like the thing about. I'm pretty sure it was the same in the first movie about how like the demon can pretend to be other people, so they yeah. really like fuck with the audience and the character of like yeah. maybe that entire crazy, interaction yeah. wasn't real and stuff like that. And I did that mm-hmm. genuinely was it like scary, yeah. but that's like the part which was the most I guess interesting and like creepy, yeah. you know, for me. But was that more was that also prevalent in the first one where it's completely in the head or is it because i feel like if i remember the first one is yeah also maybe because it's the pov of just mainly the main character and then no one else around so it, yeah so it, it it didn't uh emphasize that it was in the head as much yeah 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 but this one but they, i think because yeah this one could also play with the addiction aspect so it's like mm-hmm. It's an excuse for them to be, just be like, oh, you're, um, you're just or back or on drugs or whatever. Yeah. So like that's, rah. yeah. Um, uh, the one thing that also like, I just found icky was like car crash stuff. Oh yeah. You don't, but like yeah, that. I don't, I don't like, I don't like that, but that's also does. Yeah. You don't like distracted driving. Yeah. Like so that. I guess, I don't know. I found that scary, a sort sure, of, yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, the 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 shots and the scenes where the, it was the car crash aftermath. I thought that was done pretty well, really well. Yeah. Yeah. Broken leg. Yeah. Hanging from the car. Yeah. Yeah. Don't. Do so coke. yeah, I, I, sorry. We don't do coke while driving. Yeah. So so true. So true. But um. Just do it like Doctor Strange. <laughs> what? Was he on drugs when he was driving? No, he was crashed? just distracted driving. He got a text. He was doing him. um like he his was playing Minesweeper. He was playing Minesweeper and uh yeah. In the Tesla mobile. Yeah. So crazy. So yeah, sorry. Good. I'm still <laughs> so tired, but um overall I guess like the way I kinda of look at it is like job scan stuff kinda of cheap. They do interest similar to the first one. It's like the psychological element. I think is the most interesting part. Yeah, and it's pretty present throughout the movie. I do think the movie is too long. It's over two mm. hours, and I thought that yeah. was come on, man. It's, this movie is, should be an hour thirty, an hour forty. Like they do not have to stretch it to two um, over two hours, and it it does drag quite a bit. I feel. Um, even though I do yeah. like a good slow burn, but like. I don't know. They it feels like sometimes they're just retreading a lot of the same ground. Yeah. Where it's just like, okay, we get the point. People think she's on drugs. And okay, yeah, yeah this is actually my main complaint with the story itself, is it just feels like the first movie again a little bit. So it's like you know, when like she's like fighting out about the curse, right? And she has all these experiences and whatever. It's like, oh yeah, because this is like the setup to like her realizing, oh, all of this curse stuff is real, so it's just in my head, right? Yeah. Which we, we as the audience know the curse is a real thing and there's a real demon because we watched the last movie. We did. But this movie doesn't expand on that, like, at all. It's just, like, doing the same thing again. And to me, that's just, like, not mm. super interesting. Like, I get the, it's fine, like, spend some of the, like, the, I guess the first act, maybe, you know, setting up that, kind of bring us up to, up to speed of where the character would be I feel like in relation to the end of the previous movie, if that makes sense. Yeah. Like I don't need this exact same character arc again. Yeah. And I feel like that's what this movie did for me. I think me. I mentioned that about how we don't get any motive for the for the, our little curse monster, and it's just the yeah. same thing from yeah. the last movie, right? Yeah. Or not even even what we said at the end. It, it was a but. Oh, same yeah, thing, but yeah. The so lore is an expanded right? yeah, 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 absolutely. Um, yeah, and I just, I just don't like when. Well, I really did not like the ending. But that's, that's why I can't really talk about it much without spoiling it. But I thought, I don't know, it ruined the suspe- like it ruined the mystery of the movie a little bit in terms yeah, of what they how they go with the ending. 
Even though the ending's kind of cool in a way, what they sort of, well, we'll get there. We'll get there. Mm-hmm. Um, I like the supporting cast as well. They were yeah. good in the movie and um, led to some cool stuff. Because, yeah, the cool thing, I guess, her her relationship with the people around her is what kind of fuels the psychological element in the movie. Yes. So it's like, how would these characters react to her in situations? And it's like, does the demon know that? And like, how does they replicate that sort of thing? And that's pretty cool. Yeah. 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 <laughs> no, yeah no, no. That sort of type of beat, you know. Yeah, that's yeah. what's happening. Yeah. The more I talk about it, actually, the more I do like appreciate the film. Because I, I came out of the movie going, this is exactly the same as the first one, but I think it is a little bit different. And while it's not expanding deeper on the law, it kind of does bring out the strengths of the previous movie and make some of it better in terms of, like, yeah, that... Mm. The spookiness of the mm-hmm. creature. Like, like psychologically, not really yeah, sure. anything else. Um, I suppose so. But yeah, I do wish the story was like more interesting. Just like something a little bit more different in terms of the beats yeah. they hit and stuff like that. It's like, because once you ask the audience if you know that the creature is real, it's like there's no mystery there, you know? Yeah, yeah. So it's maybe you throw in something that makes the audience like. It's, 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 it's actually very similar to Joker Follow You Do because that movie was like. Playing with the or is the Joker a separate personality? But you've already seen the first movie. Mm -hmm. It's like that's not really doing much. Because they said no, it's the same guy. Yeah, which you already knew because you watched the first movie. Yeah, but they could change it up. Yeah, but no, I mean, this uh, cancel the first movie. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I mean, a lot of horror movies kind of do this as well to be fair where you just like do the same exact same premise but just with new cast right yeah that's a pretty normal thing but i feel like but the better they, you know, franchises build yeah they get, upon they get, it, right? get new law usually yeah in your franchise yeah but yeah uh overall mm-hmm. i still enjoyed it i thought it was a good movie uh, it's yeah. all right yeah because it's, it's all right but you know I, i'm still in the camp of like i think i might have liked the previous one more Purely on the basis, like, of like, I saw that before, and now I saw this one. Is and it's kind of the same, and I don't like the, yeah. the character's premise. Yeah, and I there's feel, no new. Yeah, one. yeah, absolutely. Like, yeah, I feel like in my head, well, when I get to the verdict, I'll probably average it out to be about mm-hmm. the same because I feel yeah, like yeah. the stuff this improves on still kind of gets a bit of a negative for just doing the same yeah, as yeah. well. Yeah. Fair spoilers yeah. on spoilers. On. Yeah. Um, we we'll talk about Fight Club. What do you want to talk about the Fight Club? Oh, I think you mean let's move on to the movie. Yeah, like, yeah. what? We're not done yet. Yeah, what was the Fight Club thing? She turned to me in the theater. Yeah, it was like this is just like Fight Club. She realizes that her friend is in, is not real. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's Fight Club moment. Yeah, that's Fight Club moment. And she's just grabbing um, herself. That's that was one of my favorite moments in the movie. It's that's like those movie. moments where you're like. Wow, what I just watched, yeah, that was not real or whatever. Um, and then I guess, well, cause, yeah, we're in spoilers, right? Mm-hmm. Kind of the ending suggests that, like, pretty much half of the movie wasn't even real. Yeah. And that's yeah. kind of crazy, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and I did like that twist, I guess, at the end. That's a yeah. real Fight Club type twist. Um, the funny thing was I watched Fight Club, like, the day before. So yeah. I was like... Yeah. Yo, this is Fight Club again. Yeah. And, um, yeah, so then it reveals that, like, yeah, nothing really had happened and she's doing the concert. Mm-hmm. Um, even though it's kind of rushed and a bit of a cheap way to just. Yeah, I guess it's a Because I guess it's a horror thing of, like, you know, wrap up the movie, mm-hmm. but then leave some bit of dread at the end, sort of vibe. But I guess, like, mm-hmm. this is just, like, yeah, this way to kill off the character, sort of thing. And I just yeah. didn't like the monster because I'm just like, like everything's creepier monster. when you don't see a thing. Yeah, and it's just that. like this horse monster. It's not really a horse. It's more like I call a, it a horse. Kind of just like a freaky. It's a meat horse. 
show a meat force. It's kind of just like a dot. I don't know. It doesn't look that good. It's, it's a it's yeah. a funny meat host. See, that's the other thing. The host just get like crawls itself out of the 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 imaginary body to be the last image uh, our character sees before she dies. I guess. Yeah. But what's the purpose? What is the cause? Why? Why do this? I don't know. Not really answered. Eh? Yeah. We'll get and it in like, the next movie. What, what the fuck? Why is it a horse meat, man? Well, yeah. I don't know. Just a funny demon, I guess. And how does, does it relate to smiling? Yeah. See, <laughs> so, so that's, like, no, that's really... Okay, explained. but why? Yeah. Oh, okay, and type B, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, you know, at the end... Because, like, a, you think... Oh, sorry. Do you uh, mind if I... The interesting part yeah. was, like... Oh, okay. See, and since the smile curse is like, if you see someone with the smile curse die in front of you, you get the smile curse. But in this case, it's at the concert. So everyone in the concert sees the death of the smile curse. Yeah. So will all the concert goes get the, get the smile curse? Yeah. That's the question. Right? Good question. Maybe we'll get it like, like a zombie sort of mm-hmm. situation next movie. Um, that was actually also, when I talk about creative shots, um... See, the, 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 they had a really good shot of just the audience's reactions and it stays on it for a long time. That was, I thought, a really cool way to do it. But do we need to show the monster beforehand or do you just had the mm. audience reaction? Because I thought that yeah. was pretty interesting, but maybe some people need to see the thing maybe to they understand. Seen the first movie. Um, it's also like, because one of the mysteries, like, well, not mysteries, one of the things is like right before you die. Yeah, you look up and you see some sort of creature or whatever, like some sort of thing, but you yeah. don't know what it is. Like to the outside people, you just see something and then it kills you. Mm-hmm. And then you smile or whatever. Or you kill yourself, I guess. Did she kill herself at the end? Oh, yeah, she beat herself with the like, yeah, yeah, there we go. Yeah. But it's like, oh, what was the big scary thing she saw? It was a fucking horse monster. You know, it's that sort of thing. It's like that mystery just ruined. Because it's just like, oh, it's so scary. I don't care. Because it's always, your imagination is always scary, you know? Oh, I remember the 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 opening scene. Yeah, and the the ghost that that guy saw was a burning man. Yeah, that was different. Oh no, no, it wasn't like that. Was just an unrelated. That's not the demon he sees when he dies. Yeah, but like everyone else, so I guess the assumption is that guy is a smile guy, but he killed himself by fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, yeah, yeah. Or like just cool. any one. It, it's a little bit unclear because she, the main character, doesn't just see the guy who gave her the curse. She also sees yeah. ghosts of the partner or whatever. He died in the car crash. Yeah. But yeah. So it's like, is it just anyone that games? dies or it's just your fears or whatever? Yeah, like what is, maybe. it's not super clear. What, how and sometimes it's just random people <laughs> that yeah. fill her apartment. True. Yeah. How did they do in the last film? I can't remember. Yeah. I, I think like it's also just like random, random people. Yeah. But I don't know. So th- I guess they like It doesn't really matter. Right? Maybe. Yeah. I never understood it as being just the person who dies. Mm-hmm. Like who gave it to you. I always thought it was like just random people. Because mm-hmm. the yeah, thing yeah, is yeah. you just see smiles on people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Smiling um, burning man. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Maybe uh, make a movie, but it's the opening guy. And his journey of John Wicking to, to kill that guy. Yeah. But also, the start of the movie doesn't actually make a lot of sense. Because dude runs out, gets hit by the car, right? And he, he had no. the smile curse. But then, like, one of the gangsters is a guy looking out the window, right? It's not the dude who gets yeah, the... So yeah. he should have gotten the curse, right? I guess. Why but did... also, it, he didn't kill himself. Yeah, that's another plot. Oh. Mm-hmm. Well, I guess... Okay, maybe we can just look past that to oh. be like... Actually, no, it doesn't make sense, right? Because it's the... Wait. They're not allowed to die of accident, right? That's just like something that's just yeah. not supposed to happen. Like the demon's meant to, I guess, kind of keep them safe, right? Yeah, well, the demon's supposed to kill you from the inside by killing yourself. Yeah. 
Because even when, like, uh, the main character kind of tries to kill herself as well with the thing that stops her heart. Oh, yes. Which is, yeah. But was that fake? That was fake. Was the guy I trying guess to help I don't... fake? Maybe. Because he just disappeared. Yeah. Which is either okay. very yeah. uh, deep and makes you think about the movie, or it's just like, who mm. cares? Sort of vibes, you know? But. Yeah. He's supposed to connect with the guy that was killed in the intro. Was, was he, he or was he? Was he was no. No, no, no. It would have been someone before, like I guess, but, uh... previous movie or something. Yeah, or like yeah. before the previous movie or something. Mm. It was like eight dudes ago or something. Yes. Um, yeah. Oh, you see the brother that dies. He takes oh, yeah. his drawer off, remember? So I guess... Oh, the gore's pretty cool in this movie. I forgot to say. Yeah. Gore's nice. I guess he's I supposed like to be it. canon or that guy's. Unless yeah. that was all fake. Fake news. Yeah, I would have assumed it's still real. I don't know. Because, yeah, from my understanding, maybe just, like, the meetup at the end was fake. Yeah. No, but, like, theoretically, all of that should have been fake. Like, she never kills her mom, right? Yeah, and then the whole car chase was fake. Yeah, so, like... So that guy was... The where, do we, was where do we draw the line? True. Theory. Phil Theory guy, explain, please. Yeah. I guess that's a will be a fun thing. Rewatch and figure out where mm -hmm. the movie, like, Gets fake. Gets fake and real. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I remember there being some other pothole that we were talking about in the theater, but I can't remember. Uh, hmm. Is there anyone hmm. else that dies in the movie? We got the the guy, drug man. Oh, my thing, I guess, was like. The guy's plan wouldn't work because if she dies, then he would get the smile curse, right? Yeah. So the curse lives on. But is one the, of the, the requirements that she have to kill herself? Or the, does the demon have to kill her by killing herself for the curse to pass? It's unclear because that guy gets hit by a car at the start and then yeah, the thing so. still passes, right? That is the plot hole. Yeah. So I guess like, yeah, the lore isn't explained and it kind of, if you think mm -hmm. about the movie, it kind of puts yeah, holes. Yeah, but then right? there's the other thing of like, does the demon only kill you when the demon wants to kill you? So you can't make it kill you. I'd assume so. Cause like there are similar opportunities when the demon just like beats the shit out of her. Yeah. So. Which is, I would say, I guess like, what's the deal? What's the deal with, with all these deal? smiling people? The smiling are they real people? or are they not real? Oh, wait. I got something to unpack. The friend of hers just never existed. So maybe the movie started, like, didn't even start until, like, way back. I mean, the movie ended way first, back. Like, texted the friend. Yeah, yeah I don't know. Because, like, that's... Yeah. Also, think about what the demons... The demon did, like, a double twist, like, within the same hallucination or some shit. Is that what's going on? Because end, yeah. she didn't kill the mom, which means that part of the movie is where I guess it kind of all oh, becomes fake, right? But then she has like the twist in the car later, so it's like a twist within a twist. For what reason, demon? Like, I like playing mind games. Yeah. Um. Sorry, what was I? S yeah. I can't remember what I was saying. Yeah. Did anyone else die? Or yeah, I don't know. But you know. Dream yeah. within a dream, within a dream. But, yeah, I don't know. Is this the sort of movie you need to nitpick? Maybe. I, I mean, it's a like sequel it's, and you expect uh, a bit more. I feel like it's so I guess. Because it is, it is a bit a wanted. Should we just do some verdicts then? Yeah. Alright, uh, sequel to Smile. I thought it was alright. Some interesting things, some uh, good gorge stuff. But, you know, scary-wise, a bit jump scares here and there. But, you know, if you're scared of hallucinations or, you know, fake news media, maybe it's scary. But it's kind of mostly the same as the last one, but, you know, in a different context and a few more uh, uh, interesting elements here and there. So I'm going to give it like a 
straight six? Straight six. Yeah. Um, yeah. Basically the same thing, right? I thought that it's too similar to the first movie in terms of plot beats and story yeah. structure and like character arc. Though I do think it is the the character itself is more interesting and her relationship with her supporting cast makes kinda like the psychological torment more interesting. Mm. Um I thought the ending followed the same thing as being kinda ass and just shows you the monster at the end, which was the same thing yeah. as the first movie. Oh, they also do the same twist as like, oh, she defeats the monster, but that's not real. Uh, that's yeah. that's how the movie ends in the previous yeah. one. Because I remember she like burns down the house with the monster in it, but it wasn't ah. real. Oh, yeah, if you remember yeah, that, yeah. yeah. So Post. that's like the same thing here. Um, and it doesn't expand on the lore. In fact, it, it kind of fucks with the lore a bit yeah, a and bit like plot holes. Too many plot holes. But, but like, do you want to just? You got to consider as well, like. The audience of people who are just like gonna go in and just um watch a horror movie because it's October, you know. Yeah, they're yeah. capitalizing on. But October that ain't us. We're hardcore fans. Or <laughs> I mean, do people think, do people think about like Jason or fucking Halloween? Yeah. Or, so. I don't think this is like franchise worthy potential. Oh, yeah. We'll see. We'll see how many this goes. Surprisingly, Terrify. I feel like is actually setting itself up to be a pretty. Um. Good franchise, I guess. Anyway, um, I'll give this one a solid 6.5. Yeah. So a 6.25 mm-hmm. average. Shall we talk Speaking a bit? Hallucination. Yeah, let's talk Y'all about a classic film. Fight Club, if you're a real cinema guy. Except me. If you're a this is my first male. time. Yeah. You know, <laughs> is this, uh, so is this like a... Uh, my watching of Fight Club was the first watch this movie is such a joker movie by the way like as in like the joker OG movie kind of i feel like there are tropes in this movie that the joker movie yeah. does like hallucinations yeah yeah, sure, yeah. yeah true i mean like i guess the whole joke already stands for in the first movie right see, but the joker kinda. movie was like straight up taxi driver i feel like this movie does he hallucinate it? sorry does see in taxi driver does he hallucinate having a girlfriend no so. but it was real in Taxi Driver, yeah. but he actually got dumped, so. I guess Does it's he a, inspire it's a city movement? Because I feel yes. like, yeah. Okay, yeah. Same type yeah. type beast. So, like, the Joker was kind of 80, 80% Taxi Driver. Yeah, and King of Comedy or something. Probably, yeah. But I guess Fight Club probably takes some notes from Taxi Driver, but it's, but yeah. it's not a complete yeah. rip-off type beat, you know what I'm saying? I guess, yeah. Good movie though, Fight Club. Yeah, a, um, a David watch, Fincher type, right? a mm-hmm. David Fincher joint. Mm-hmm. You got Edward Norton, Brad Bradley Pitt, mm-hmm. one of Bradley Pitt's like first defining roles, right? I yeah. think. Everyone wanted to look like him after the movie. Do you? That was that's a, that's a trend back in the nineties. Damn. Um, also, um, Jared Leto's in this movie. And I just do not recognize him at all. Which one was he? He's the guy with the white hair. Oh, that's how I, like, I don't recognize him in American Psycho. Well, I because I can clearly see his face in American yeah. Psycho, but like, this is like so much yeah. white shit. And I'm just like, the same Morbius, same Morbin time. Exactly. Yeah. Because like my immediate picture of Jared Leto is like Joker Morbius. Yeah. Oh yeah, I did. I did like this film quite a bit. Quite a bit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It kind of the it has a such an interest. It, this is very nice. It kind of feels very yeah. Matrixy. Mm-hmm. Um. Similar, well, not Matrix is more green, but this is also kind of this is a very blue movie. Yes. Yeah, it's also similar aesthetic in terms of like the office stuff, I guess. Yeah, it's very and, like, of the fluorescent lights. Yeah, yeah. I feel like yeah, this is kind of a similar view because it's like your yeah, office dude, and then they he does goes off to other stuff to find. He breaks bed. Yeah. yeah. Like but a it's a. Uh, Pretty dope movie, man. Yeah, uh, like the, cool, like cool sentiments. I I don't like capitalism, you know. Neither do and I. This movie's uh pretty anti-capitalism. Um, yeah. <laughs> Was it? Well, I guess initially it's mainly like office dude is tired of office life, but then it became 
fuck capitalism. Well, I, 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 some would say it was always fuck capitalism uh, because yeah, it's the same guy. Same guy. Yeah. Oh, true. Hey, that was yeah. that was, that was, that was yeah. the mind fuck. Yeah. Oh, I went in knowing that there was going to be some sort of twist. Mm. And um, at the start of the movie, with all of the flashes you get of Brad Pitt, yeah, spliced in, as I was like, well, I didn't know it's Brad Pitt. I was just like. What the wow, fuck? Did I, was that a glitch, bro? <laughs> and I had to literally rewind and be like, oh, no, that was a, that was real. That was a real flash of a thing. And um, I knew, so I was suspecting that it's going to be some sort of, sort of like, he's not real or whatever. And yeah. um, then you'll notice, like, I guess, dialogue and stuff where people, oh, we're full spoiling, right? That's okay. 20 year It's 25 movie. years, 25 yeah. anniversary. That's what yeah. we're reviewing it for. So spoilers. I guess, yeah, full spoiler warning. Um, I guess initial impressions. We said it's good, right? Yeah. So like, go out and watch it if you haven't. Um, yeah. Um, and yeah, characters will be like, "Who are you talking to?" and stuff like that. Yeah, you, yeah. yeah. That's the clues. Yeah, that's the clues. There. Yeah. Um, what does it say about this movie that people haven't already said? <laughs> it's a real question. Yeah, no, but like, yeah, it's very nineties. Uh, I say very. Uh, What's the word? Very pre nine eleven. Pre pre nine eleven. Because the airplane, like, they go in the airplane and they he has like the oh, super yeah. shit like that, which so I guess he can't free. do right. And okay, but there was already some security checks. They were talking about vibrating suitcases or whatever. <laughs> yeah. And dildos. Yeah. Very edgy. Very nineties edge. I, yeah. I find that funny. Yeah. You know, a bit a bit charming. You know, reminds you of the pre nine eleven days. Yeah. But yeah, very, very good looking, very stylish 90s yeah. style, probably on the but cutting also, edge. Yeah, day. yeah. in style. terms of good looking, it also looks like gross. Yeah. Like it's not like a, it's in like intentionally kind of grotty as well. Yeah, it's very which grime, I like. Yeah. grunge. The house know? is like a shit oh. yeah. Very of its time, you know, Nirvana and whatever fucking Nickelback. Yeah. And the song they play at the end, which is a meme song now, because yeah. it's a, because it is. A oh, it's the one that's right in the Thunderbolt trailer. Yeah. So which has everyone think? Because you know, the, I was explaining that thing about in the Thunderbolts, the Sentry guy, how he's like his whole thing is like nobody remembers him, and it's got oh. he's got wiped out of canon or whatever. Yeah. So it's like a similar, t like because okay. that's what it's supposed to be like imaginary friend sort of vibe. Ah, right. It's like yeah, yeah, yeah. People, yeah. Reference. I like that song like is so ingrained into Fight Club. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is uh the the precursor many of the precursors not many one of the precursors to the just like me movement. Yeah. And I, I dig that. This really is one of those sort of Yeah. It's so it's interesting because I guess see, that's the other thing, right? Some Fight Club fans are kind of similar to Joker fans, to be honest. It's like... Because this, this is one of those Just Like OG. Me movies. Taxi Driver was the OG Just Like yeah. Me movie. But this one is like... This is kind of the same, because it's like a Just Like Me yeah. movie, but the protagonist is also very morally questionable, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean... You're not really supposed to like him. No. By the end, by the end of the movie. But he's still yeah. supposed to be... Yeah. But you're still following him. He's a protagonist, yeah. Mm -hmm. And he has some ideas, and yeah. they may be rooted in well, good stuff, maybe his, or stuff. The end of it was like know. him facing his deep rooted ideas, be like, "Yeah, these are my ideas." Yeah, and I'm gonna own it. Type yeah, thing, right. I will say, like, okay, this is gonna be the the hot take of the podcast. Yeah, I don't know if anyone else agrees with this idea. I'm not a huge fan of the ending. Yeah, it was a bit of uh, like the point where he shoots himself and everything after that was, was like I was like, "What? Well, come on, man! He shoots his, he shoots himself. What's the metaphor that kills off Brad yeah, Pitt? But he doesn't shoot himself enough to kill himself. He shoot on the side. Yeah, on the, on the cheek, and, it, and that. So I didn't really get why <laughs> that was, was living there. Yeah, that's that's what it made me think. I was kind of like, okay. I mean, and then more, it, it kind of ends in a. Like, like, a part of his brain they got shot. Yeah. That was the Brad Pitt part. And if I were to nitpick a little bit, I find it a little bit difficult to believe that everyone 
started following this guy that they know is actually insane because he starts talking to himself. No, because he has the Riz. But I don't, no, I'm just thinking, yeah, yeah but, but like, like people, people do, would you look at this guy and go like, oh, he has the Riz, or like you see him talking to yourself and think he's genuinely just schizophrenic. No, it's just signal male behavior. <laughs> I don't know that because some scenes in yeah. the movie, I, I because I watched the movie through lenses. I, I don't think Brad Pitt's real, mm-hmm. and some of the scenes kind of felt a little bit odd because it's like people, like especially that first fight, and then people join and go, yeah. "Can I join in?" Because he's just beating up himself. Yeah, that, that's so the that kind thing. of I kind of like. Why does the fight club exist? Because like, yeah, people the saw him the beating up himself. Is yeah. Uh, I guess from what I captured. The Fight Club gives these people, these outcasts, a sense of belonging because they're in a club and they get to fight each other and feel yeah. alive or whatnot. Yeah. And uh, the movie's trying to tell you, you know, there's a lot of people like you and me who are just like me for real. Yeah. Who, are, like, who don't fit in and like want to do more. Yeah. Make a difference. Yeah. Like in Taxi Driver. Yeah. They get Fight Club. Yeah. And then they make this movie. Yeah. 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 But yeah, I guess, yeah, but uh, my, my nitpick is just it's a little bit goofy if you think it about it, right? Um, and yeah, so, yeah. Uh, a bit of a side note. Yeah. Do you plan on watching Taxi Driver? Maybe. Maybe it'll be After the anniversary this, yeah. and we'll watch, we'll do a like, review on that one. Now that I think about it, the Taxi taxi Driver is like the realest of these bunches. Bunch of movie, Taxi Driver theme movies. Well, this one's based on a book as well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. As in, like, the movement kind of makes sense in Taxi Driver. Yeah. It's not as goofy. Well, the movement, like, the actual movement aspect, like, when it gets into the, later in the movie yeah, and they're starting the to do the more political stuff, it does make sense. Yeah. Like, it's But not... also in Taxi Driver, the actual political movement yeah. is not for a political purpose. It was just the guy, Robert De Niro, being like, fuck this guy. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that was more based. Yeah, I mean this one. <laughs> I'll say yeah, they don't shy away from the fact it's just terrorism. Like yeah, they straight up say that in the movie. So I guess yeah, um, yeah. But it's also um, it's the vibes of the movie are also kind of American Psycho. I guess it's one of those sort of movies, right? Well, in about, the sense that the society, yeah. Um, the th- like the thing I was saying with the. Like, the goofiness of the society, I think, is intentional. It's yeah. meant to be kind of like an American psycho society where people don't, like, notice you and you're kind of like... People don't care about each other. Yeah, you're a cog in the machine yeah. of this capitalist Even the main system, right? Yeah, yeah that's why this, these are all, yeah. like... They are all came out around the same time, yeah. right? So it's like... People in the 90s were all yeah. about, like, they don't care about me, man. Yeah. Or Which you. makes sense. It's like the... Yeah, it's literally that era, right? It's, yeah, it's like, yeah. Until 9-11, then everyone cares. Yeah. About the Iraqis. <laughs> yeah. Um, Hell yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's also grunge music. Yeah. And like, so, very yeah. 90s. This is very 90s, yeah. It's uh, pretty cool. <laughs> One thing I kind of noticed, I don't know if this is like a... I don't, I don't know, this is just a random thing, but uh, Brad Pitt's performance gives me... Robert Downey Jr. vibes. Mm. Yeah. So I'm thinking, is this that. when Robert Downey Jr. was big back in the 90s, maybe? He was still young. Yeah. I suppose. What was he in, yeah. the, in the 90s? When did he do... Could look up, look it up, yeah. but I can't be bothered. But I don't know. He was... Was he in the... People knew him and he did some stuff. Right. Yeah. He, in the... Law and Order. <laughs> I th- uh, did maybe. you do um the Charlie Chaplin movie? Maybe I don't know. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm just talking out of my ass. But I was like watching. Was I was like, probably, Dad, yeah. this is uh, would be the perfect role if they did it these like now. Yeah, yeah this would be a Robert Downey Jr. I can see it. Role. Yeah. True. What are we talking about? Nineties. Nineties people don't care about each other. Mm-hmm. And yeah, the very relevant topics of the time. Yeah, and yeah, executed cool. very well in a fun little story. Yeah, 
And yeah, my only nitpick, I guess, is I just don't like the very, very end movie. Oh, yeah. I do agree with that. Bit of a, I would guess a cop out of like the more just like abrupt. Like, oh, yeah. yeah. He's he gone. shoots himself in the cheek where Brad Pitt lives. Mm -hmm. And then I guess he gets the girl and. The end. The, and and, he, and Brad Pitt wins as well because the buildings blow up. But he doesn't care at that point anymore. Yeah. I mean, that's he's what fine Brad Pitt wanted, the... wanted, right? Yeah. He wanted fucking guy what's his name yeah and then i guess something because you were saying him. like oh he confronts his what like his darkest like yeah, his I id guess i guess i don't know his shadow self mm -hmm. or yeah but he doesn't like he doesn't cut they don't come together he no. just kills him i guess, I guess so what, it's like what brad pitt side wants is for him to take over but he's like nah i'm gonna do my own thing yeah. So he's like, no, I'll do it. Yeah. So he embraces the Brad Pitt side in it. Yeah. But he doesn't really, because he shoots the Brad Pitt side out of him. But at the same yeah. time, yeah, I guess he just... The building's bluff and he doesn't really care. Like, I don't know. Because well, yeah, I guess he, it's, uh, it's he that... He attempted to stop it, but he failed, so... Yeah. So he's like, ah, oh, it happens, yeah, It I happens, guess. right, yeah. Whatever. I don't know. And the women it, it, yeah. come. Yeah. Bit. Also, yeah, I don't think the, the I don't think he should have gotten the girl at the end. Yeah, that, that was doesn't a bit of a make a whole lot of sense. Yeah, device or well, not device? It's a convenient yeah. thing that happened when they, after she literally got kidnapped yeah. by him, his yeah. gang, and oh, she was brought in to get killed, and then he kills Brad Pitt yeah. first before that happens, and so it's like she's yeah. there. Yeah, and she's the only person in the movie to be like, "This is a bit weird that you have kind of like two personalities, eh? You got the two wolves inside of you." But does she does she mention that? Yeah, uh, pretty early on. Well, like oh, she yeah, starts. Yeah. Oh, she's like, oh, you, one day you're cold, the other day you're fucked. The thing, yeah, yeah she, she does. does. But like, there's a scene when he, he's like, um, something or other, uh, like our house or us or something, and she's like, what do you mean us? Keep talking about it. And then she changes the subject. So at that point, is she does she know that there are two, and she just wants to talk about it? I feel like she's just also confused to be like, what the fuck are you talking about? Because it seems like she kind of was like, oh, something's up here. Let's expand oh. upon that. But then I guess she kind of like forgets and then has, then when he's like, oh, Tyler's gone or whatever, that's when she goes, yeah, you fucked me. Fuck so it's like, I, I don't know. Him. Yeah. But I like how they did that though. How they, uh, uh, I guess, dropped the hints on that and like even uh, narrated that because he was like, oh, Every time she's out of the room, he comes in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I got all that stuff. I was just Reminds like... Reminds you of my parents. I'm thinking <laughs> of, from her perspective, like... Similarly to what I was saying, which is like anyone's perspective of when he's just talking to himself type yeah. shit. Yeah. I also like how the intro's like, yeah, that's me. You're probably wondering how I got into this place. Oh well, yeah, you do. Uh, actually, what I was thinking is on TikTok currently, there's like a trend of like yeah. this foreshadowing trend. Oh yeah, I don't know if you've seen that. that. But I was going, oh wow, this is literally that trend because the, the in that trend, I, they do also the thing they do a Fight Club of brief flashes of stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, is it is, is that trend literally just a Fight Club reference? But maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> the ending gets very meta as well because, like, Brad Pitt's like, haha, you're doing flashback humor. Oh, yeah. I was like, cool. Remember this, remember yeah. that. I like when we get the fight with him and Brad Pitt, and we get the, the CCTV angles of him punching himself. Yeah, pretty funny. Mm hmm. And like, oh, yeah, this is also, it's a well, very well paced movie. It's like over oh, two yeah. hours, but I felt like it went by very quick. Action packed. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. good drama. It's just, yeah, for me, fun that movie. ending. It's fun. Fun. But it also makes you think. It's a thinking man's movie. It makes you think about what life was like pre-9-11. Yeah. It makes you think if you're a cog in the machine, do you listen to uh, uh, Rage Against the Machine? Yeah. So you can watch this movie when you're a young man, and then no. when you turn into a full adult, you can watch A Bug's Life. Exactly. Let's see, this is the... Then yeah. you can compare which one's the better 
communist uh what do you call it allegory allegory slash you know entry movie i want uh to quote rage against the machines fuck you i won't do what you tell what you tell me what you told tell me. me tell me the past tense present tense yeah, yeah, yeah. that's the truth that's true yeah. Shall we do some verdicts? Verdicts. Uh, Fight Club is a classic. I can see it now. Brad Pitt and the other guy, he just liked me. I wish I had hallucinations and an imaginary friend. You had what? Hallucinations. Oh, hallucinations. Are yeah. you real? Are you just my imaginary friend? Or watch the CCTV. Well, I think Sonny is an imaginary friend. I'd... He hasn't said a lot today. Sonny? Yeah. Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> that's, classic that's Sunny. Funny, dude. Oh, he broke the chair again. Oh shit! Uh, classic Sunny. Yeah, yeah. I recommend if you haven't. Uh, I see what it's about now. I'm gonna give it a solid nine. Not solid nine. Yeah, I like this film a lot. I'm a I'm a big David Fincher fan. I don't mm. remember if I said that, but um, he's he's one of my top directors. Bring Your back. Idol. Mindhunter season three, we need it. One oh. of the guys from this movie is in Mindhunter, yeah. but that show got cancelled after two seasons. Great show, one of my favorite shows. Um, classic nineties movie, one of the best nineties movies, maybe. Yeah, yeah, good time. I finally get all the references, all of the jokes that people have said, like the first rule of Fight Club. <laughs> yeah, I get it now. I understand. But even. I guess that joke is just a one-off thing. It doesn't relate to the bigger picture, I suppose. Yeah. But yeah, I get it now. Yeah. But you know, this also relates to the Sigma male community on how all these movies are about people who are out of place and who don't belong finding a community in other people who don't belong type B. Yeah. And that could come out with a positive impact or they might have a negative impact yeah but yeah. it's also the funny thing of those community like those sigma male communities mm-hmm. embracing characters that are arguably not good people yeah, yeah. like yeah, the joker yeah. and mr terrorism and american psycho Although I what about neo it. from the matrix do people yeah, yeah, what yeah. about he's a good guy just, the, the neo the... but also neo from the matrix is literally jesus be jesus <laughs> so, yeah. the bible there you go yeah, yeah. Now, it's because Neo doesn't hate women enough. So true. Yeah. I guess, yeah, yeah I guess Mr. Edwin also kind of does hate women in this one. <laughs> because yeah. this is that one lady, yeah. Fuck them bitches. Anyway. What did I say? Did I give a score? Oh, you haven't given a oh, number. Oh, no, I haven't. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll give this one a solid 8.5 out mm. of 10. Nice. Yeah classic movie type movie yeah yeah oh i remember the the human fat soaps that was mad that was pretty cool yeah and i miss uh it makes you think like, yeah, so this guy had all of that knowledge but he just never used it yeah he's he's an avid reader just, yeah or just a nerd haha <laughs> nerd I mean, that's the power of nerds. When you put your mind to it and actually use some of your knowledge, you can become a Brad Pitt. But instead, no, you're working at a fucking AHM insurance. Yeah. I like how they don't reference what car company. They just go, Uh, it's a major one. one. Yeah. The big one. I also like that scene where he beats himself up in the... He's, he's just like on the Caesar and beats us all yeah, up. Yeah, those are the right, best. No, those are the, some of the best. But I do agree. I do agree. I like that. They were funny. Quite they a were bit. They violent. Man. Kids like violence. You're a kid. I'm a kid. And, and uh, they're fun. They're fun. Funny, fun. Well, speaking of fun, that wraps up all we're talking about today. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I thought for some fun. Pa- oh, speaking of fun, you know what we're going to review next week? What's that? Ben. <laughs> Yo, but we also got to review the special Pizza Hut Venom Pizza Pack. Shit. Before that. Well, we'll do, or, we can do it in one. The, oh, for maybe, the, I don't I mean, know. In the next review, maybe. But yeah. we'll record something while we get it. Yeah, yeah. 
Um, I think we'll probably also look back at another classic or something for the yeah. second film later. Um, I also thought um, Halloween, maybe Halloween night, we could do a little stream, what you and I, of the game the Phasmophobia. Oh, yeah. God. What do you think? Platform fast yeah, I'm down to get it. I'll be in my little VR and yeah. you'll be, I'll be on, on your the computer, computer and I'll be absolutely terrified out of my mind. Remember the last time we played that? I do. Uh, I think it was like Paul and Evan or something. Yeah, we found some ghosts. Yeah. But now this is going to kill me. I'm going to be crying. I'm going to be sobbing. On the floor. But yeah. No, we haven't done a stream in a while, eh? No. We can do it on the Unholy Trinity channel. True, true. Official. If we have any audience on the streaming, yeah. we'll multi stream. I'll stream on the Unholy Trinity, you stream on Patronus Gold. Yeah. Can you stream well in VR? Yeah, yeah. I've done that a few oh, times. Yeah. I did oh, um, yeah, something a while yeah. ago. Um, we could do the thing where we don't use Discord and we just use the in game yeah. chat yeah. because once you go away from someone, mm. it stops. Then you're gonna have to talk to chat. You're like, chat, what's chat, where's Gio? Chat? chat, chat, help me. No one's in chat. Maybe, oh, yeah. maybe Ibrahim. Shout out to Ibrahim. Yeah. He'll be in the chat. Yeah, we can do a, we'll do a Halloween phasmophobia. Mm -hmm. Oh, we post a G Idol concert. Oh, yeah, you're watching yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. Right. Well, happy Halloween, guys. Happy Halloween. Uh, happy uh, happy uh, Venom uh, week next week. Yeah. Get yeah. your Venoms in. In ya. Get yourself a venom, some venom candy, the lollies. I guess, the, yeah, the week after venom, we'll do, that'll be the Halloween week. So hopefully, maybe we can do like a Halloween special. Mm, watch it. See what's on. What's, what's on. Yeah. Oh, we can, we can watch Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey too. Oh, from yeah, last yeah, year yeah, or yeah, something, yeah. whatever that movie came yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to watch it with the boys. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, uh, check us out on the channels, on the socials, yes, sir. at unholy.pod, on Instagram, TikTok, and I guess YouTube as well, or yes, sir. the Unholy Trinity Podcast. That's our full name. Uh, yep. Email us at the 3 unholythings at gmail.com for any email inquiries, uh, messages, or if you Or like, did you catch up in Agatha? On nah, but nah. I did catch up on penguin. But I, I guess eventually we'll, I'll we'll do. I reckon that's so gonna, gonna be Halloween. that'll be Halloween. Yeah. I think I'll catch up for that. Yeah. Uh, yes, sir. Check us a pod. <laughs> check out our podcast at the podcast platform. That's what you're listening to Spotify, now. Spotify, Apple Podcasts. It's on YouTube. Uh, probably more to come if I bother. <laughs> eventually, that's when we get our government startup loan. Yeah. When we get that loan. Yeah. And uh, keep updated. Keep the notifications on. Uh, new you videos every week on the reviews and uh, highlights to come. More funny ones when Sunman gets to it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, shout out to Sunman. Shout out to Sunman. Hopefully, we'll be back with a full squad we'll next, week. next week. With the Venom review. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he he must. Fun. He has to be back. Yeah, if yeah. not, then he's, he's dogging the boys. Yeah. He's dog in Venom, and he can't do that. He's a Venom dog. Yeah. Because Venom will come and find you and get inside of you. Yeah. I think there's a Venom frog in there. She... Actually, have you been looking like, at any of the marketing? There's been like... Nah, because I'm, 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 I'm a Venom crazy. purist. I'm not going to spoil myself. There's right like this Venom rapping or something in like oh, the actually, rap I've studio. I've that I think myself. there was like a, maybe a Megan the Stallion's thing with Venom or something. Yeah, I, I can't remember. That. I saw... Mate, that's because I'm a Venom fan, bro. Yeah. I'm always looking out for Venom. No, I'm, 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 keeping out of, I'm keeping out the spoilers. Yeah. Gotta keep the mind pure so yeah. Venom can go inside and corrupt it. Um, Tom Hardy put out a statement recently being like, I'd love to collaborate with Venom. Tom Holland or something. Oh. And people ran with it like it was news. And I'm like, okay, yeah, yeah, of course he would. Like, what, what, what sort of a news story is this? Well, There's no combination of anything. Tom Holland would be like, I'd love to collab with Tom Hardy. Yeah. Well, Tom Holland um, and Zendaya shared their reactions to the new Spider-Man script. They're like, oh. <laughs> and Tom Holland's just like, it needs some rewrites, but it's pretty good. I see. <laughs> yeah. So now he's saying that because Venom's not in it. 
Or maybe they are. Well, this is the Final Venom movie, so like, I guess if mm. Venom wasn't going and do anything, maybe. I reckon Spider, but I reckon Venom would appear. Maybe I don't know. We'll see. Eventually, they should get yeah. Venom in a Spider-Man movie again. It's been a while. Maybe they can get better writers to do that. Yeah. I mean, what do you mean? Yeah, you loved the Venom. <laughs> yeah, but not in Spider-Man Three. Oh. Although Spider-Man Three is kind of funny. Yeah. But it's, it's not. It's not the best Spider-Man. Arguably, Venom. some. Maybe me would say that the original Spider-Man trilogy are about the same in quality, all of them. Nah. But, nah. Mate, mate, it's just one man's opinion. I know most people think Those the, are the OG. first two are masterpieces. They're great. They're. They're really the products they're of good, their time. They're good. They're pro- yeah, they're products, definitely. Yeah. It's like Fight anyway, Club. It's just like Fight Club. So sometimes you gotta be Spider Man. Sometimes you gotta be the Green Goblin. Well, actually, if you want to talk about like post nine eleven movies, Spider Man two is definitely. I'm not Spider Man two. One. Wait, yeah. It was, uh, was a two or one. I can't remember. Well, no, they're I like think Spider Man. Spider Man two, two more is. Yeah, because that was that was made before nine yeah. eleven, but Spider Man two. That's the one with the train scene, right? With all the New Yorkers coming together. Yeah. Like that's a very. Like Post 9 11 symbolism. AKA Green Goblin. Oh, yeah, well, that was Doc Ock. Oh, wait, Doc Ock. But it was more of, yeah, it's just like, that, that was like kind of led into, I don't know where we're going with this, but like, that was like led into the kind of the thing of like New York being like, you got to show New Yorkers coming together and being like, we're together. Yeah, like we're capable of doing anything as a team. The fam. Yeah. Joey Diaz was there. Yeah. He's awesome. He hasn't died yet, funnily enough. I don't know who that is. He's the guy that trains like, get messed with us, you Yorkers, especially with Spider-Man. He's the guy who goes on oh, Joe, the Rogan, guy, okay. Joe Rogan all the time. Oh, no. <laughs> he's, he's funny. He, he, he's okay. on he's high on, ket, on ketamine all the time as well. So Crazy. Yeah. Gotta respect it. Anyway, more talk to a podcast next week. Oh, yeah. Actually, I'll well, talk to a sec. If the no, nah, I haven't listened to it. But I said if the video does the talk to one does well, I will. That needs to come out. Yeah. Sandman, get on there. Yeah. All right. See you guys. Bye bye. See you next week. Cut cut.